Welcome to part two of the starting up series for your new Samsung Transform from Ting. In this episode, we'll sign into our Google account and we'll begin setting up our Ting voicemail box. With the Samsung Transform on its initial lock screen, slide the green lock bar to the right. You'll be dropped into your main home screen. Before we start exploring, we'll want to connect to our home Wi-Fi network and set up our Google account information. Tap the menu key and select Settings. Tap Wireless and Networks. Turn on Wi-Fi by tapping the checkbox. Give the wireless chipset a few seconds to fire up, and then choose Wi-Fi settings. Find your Wi-Fi network in the list and tap to connect. Input your Wi-Fi access point's password and tap connect. It'll take a few seconds to associate with the access point and get an IP address. Once the connection is established, you'll see the name of the network you're connected to show up in blue at the top of the Wi-Fi network's list. Tap the back button a couple of times to return to the settings screen. Scroll down a little to find Accounts and Sync. Tap the button at the bottom of the screen to add account. Choose Google as the account type. Read the on-screen text and then tap Next. Now, choose whether you want to create a new Google account or sign in with an existing one. If you choose to create a new account, you'll be guided through steps like picking a Gmail alias, setting a password, and so on. We'll be using an existing account in this example. Input your Google account name and password and then tap Next. Your phone will communicate with Google servers to set up your account. When it's done, tap Finish Setup. You'll be dropped back to the Accounts and Sync settings screen. Tap the Back button and choose Location and Security. Select how and if you want your device to access and share location data. Enabling the option to use wireless networks means you'll be sharing usage and location data with Google. The benefit to you is a faster location fix and the ability to use location data more reliably indoors. If you're not keen on the idea of sharing anonymous data though, leave this box unchecked. Either way, you'll want to enable Use GPS Satellites by placing a check mark in the box. While we're in the Location and Security Settings screen, we can opt to secure the Samsung Transform with a passcode. Our preference is for the pattern lock. Go through the brief introduction screens and then trace a pattern that hits at least four dots. Tap Continue, and then input the pattern again. Now, when we hit the power button to lock the screen, we'll have to input our pattern unlock code. This keeps prying eyes off your smartphone data. We're done in the settings menu for now. Tap the home button to be dropped back to the main home screen. Now we'll set up voicemail. Tap the on-screen phone button to open the phone dialer. Press and hold one to call your voicemail box. Follow the voice prompts to set up voicemail. During this call, slide the dial pad tab up to access a touch tone keypad for voicemail navigation. After your voicemail is set up, you'll be alerted to any waiting voicemail messages in the Android notification bar. Just tap at the top of the screen and drag down to access notifications. You can tap on a new voicemail notification to go straight to your voicemail inbox and listen to messages. Be sure to watch the other parts in this Ting Startup Guide for your new Samsung Transform smartphone. Enjoy your new phone.